should work, hopefully. What day is it, Kimbo? Oh wow, today's the last day. Bit of a sad day, actually. Oh no, <laughs> I dropped you in the wrong way. <laughs> uh oh, I'm half asleep. Oh, that's so stupid. Fragile. Whoops. Oh, where are we going? It's got seven letters. Yeah, it does, eh? Uh, we're gonna go back to Brisbane. I'm gonna go back and pick up my battery that I forgot yesterday, and then we're gonna go to Cross with Brisbane and Matt Swift. That's the last gym on the tour. Pretty iconic gym to finish with. Yeah, it is. A lot of people thought that was the first gym in oh. Australia, which it wasn't. We learned on this trip, but yeah. Let's go, come on. come on. Finish strong, you're almost there. Awesome, Adam. What's the building? It's the last day of the trip and we finally found one. Uh, uh, you um, uh, you got a, a full disclosure first. Are you? <laughs> I've ridden a unicycle. Are you skilled? I wouldn't know. That gym record would be... Uh, would be... Tired, probably a bit too... Uh, I reckon I've got you. So do I after that. That was... Uh, I think the flat tire is probably a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> so what's the record? Four tiles. Four, four tiles. Do I get my name on a board if I get that? Yep, I'll put your name up somewhere. Oi, 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 oi. Oh. One, two, three, four. Oh! That's four and a quarter. That's four and a quarter. That's a new gym record. <laughs> Killing you. <laughs> As we lead into the open, I'll be hitting a lot more sort of shorter, lighter um, workouts, which has always been a weakness for me. It's always the trick getting to the open has always been tricky. So, uh, in my head, I still train for the open, and I think what I saw in the states that to be a good competitive masters competitor, you need to be aiming to be competitive at the regionals in the open. I think that's a good sort of way of lining it up. From about three months before the games, I had Rob Forte helping me, um, and that's going exceptionally well. So because I had to increase the volume, it creates a lot of uncertainty, and it's very easy to doubt yourself and to doubt whether you're doing the right amount, whether you're doing too much or not enough, and I wanted my theme to be outworking the opposition, so that's really something that's important. Um, especially after the games experience this year, it became very clear that the people that dominate have got a, a much higher work ethic in training than I had. Um, so what that created was a whole lot of doubts about was I doing the right amount. And so I trust Robbie, I think he's a, an exceptional coach. And the reason I went to him initially was that I, I just literally didn't know if I was doing too much or not enough. And um, I've got a heap of confidence now. And I think. I think the sport has evolved to the point where it's very difficult to program for yourself because you lose objectivity and I certainly felt like I was losing objectivity. But and I guess also I wanted to be accountable to something. It's very easy to, um, to tell yourself a whole heap of lies about your training effort and whether you're, whether you're ready and it's very, very powerful having somebody telling you that it's not good enough. Did you know going into the Open that you were going to qualify? Was there any like no, doubt or question that you weren't going to? doubt all the time. Okay. It, was a, it was a hard fight all the way through. And there was one workout that I, I can't remember what it was, but I struggled with one and it, um, I had to work really to come back. And you can't remember which one it was? No. <laughs> <laughs> Deleted that from the memory. There was, there was one result which was, it could have been the deadlift box jump. There was. Yeah, the open is so tricky because you have one bad result and can shoot you a lot of reps, a lot of points down. There was one that I know I struggled with and I was, I was just so grateful that that last workout was repeated because that fell into a sweet spot for Good me. Good one for you. Yeah. Me through a game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never felt it was easy. Ever. Okay. And you knew that you wanted to qualify going into it or did it sort of progressively come along where it was? Oh, as soon as they announced the that category, I was really excited. I think yeah. it's, uh, and why wouldn't you be? So yeah. you knew then you had a chance? Like when they announced I that? I had no first, idea. Okay. At but you had a desire no to get in there? No at all. And, yeah. And um, you know the selection's hard. It's 20 people. And, Worldwide. Yeah and there's a whole lot of people out there that are, that are great. So um, 
No. Yes. <laughs> After seeing your result from uh, this year, and then with Rob programming now leading into this one, yep. have you got a uh, have you got a, a goal or like a minimum standard that you expect from yourself going into the next one? Um, I just want to execute. I, I want to be able to perform in the competition tests to the ability that I've been able to do in training, and I want to be able to train to the best of my ability. And that was my biggest takeaway. I walked away from the guys over there that were impressive, knowing that I just had to work a whole lot harder. Um, how do you? How do you do the open workouts? Do you do them when the clients do them, or how does it work when you? The logistics of it um, for you. It varies a lot depending on what the demands are in the box. So, and a lot of that is a bit of unknown because we don't know what the open workouts are, and we don't have a very big window because we have so many people going through. So we're trying to get 200 people through the open within a sort of three-day space. <laughs> it's a, it can be challenging. So. Um, wow. It really depends and what I tried to do this year is I tried to do the workout first because one of the effects is you coach so many people through it that you just get this like, oh, I just want to get it over and done with. Yeah. What I did this year was, um, you know, we were focused on, on qualifying so I tried to set it up to be the optimal performance and if I wasn't happy with it, I'd repeat. I, I didn't get funny about it, I didn't have a set of rules, it was like just do my best, if that wasn't my best, do it again and do my best. Um, this year, the last workout I did with a group of clients supporting me and that was, I wish I'd done that earlier. So I think this year, what I'll be is throw myself into the group and um, and use as much energy from the group as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you redid them, yep. did you normally do better, second round? Um, I'm trying to remember what I redid because I, there's only, um, there was one I redid and got exactly the same score, maybe one rep more or something. <laughs> one rep more could be worth it. <laughs> it. It was yeah. There was actually there was one that I think I had to redo. I can't remember what it was. It was about the third workout, um, but I knew it wasn't enough at the time, and I wasn't firing. And it, a lot of it is led by what you watch the rest of the world do. Mm. So you know, you put your score up, and then all of a sudden this slide happens. And if you want to qualify, <laughs> like you've got to respond to that. Yeah. So you can't. Um, to me it's like tennis, you, know, you hit the ball over the net, you hope it's going to be an ace and then they hit it back really hard and it's like crap. <laughs> <laughs>
2010, where did we do regionals? We did it at Randwick. It was me, Bjorn and Chad. Uh, 2011. Me! Yeah, you. <laughs> Ruth and Amanda Allen. And me and... 2011, had myself, Pat Barber and Chris Hogan. 2012, had Cara, Ruth and... Who's the third one? Danae, she didn't go, that's why it's ah, not there. Nice. Danae Brown. And guys was Rob, Brandon and Chad. Yep. And then obviously 2013 was 2013. me, Ruth, Pip and Rob, Rob Chad, Chad and Brandon. Brandon. Yeah, yeah. That's, it. that's pretty good. Because I know, I know her face and I know her hair and she did really, really good in Amanda, like killed Amanda. And now she lifts for New Zealand. She trains with Pip Hale. Damn it, what's her name? Oh, you're a real <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, Louise has to say the first letter yeah. of her first name. So, Louise? L. L. Yeah, it is L. L. Lily? Okay, li give me Lily, Linda, Louise. Lily? Louis? <laughs> Keep going with the girls' names, girls. L. Lois. Lauren, 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 Lauren. It's Lauren. It's Lauren. Lauren Roberts, yeah. Lauren Roberts, that's right. <laughs>